This is the first test of what will hopefully become my uh, homebrew 6809 computer. This is a very messy, very simple circuit on a breadboard. We've got a 6809E processor here. We have a 4 megahertz crystal and a flip-flop to generate the clock signals back here. We've got an 8K static RAM chip. We've got a whole bunch of wires that are running up to the logic analyzer here. And um, as you can see, there's no ROM. Uh, there's no permanent storage here yet. So what I've done is I've built this front panel that will allow me to uh, enter machine code by hand as well as inspect the contents of memory. So uh, I'm going to turn it on and now the uh, the processor is halted, the halt switch there is up and I'm going to flip up the bus acquire switch which will uh, disconnect the processor from the bus and connect the switches and the displays to the bus and I've, uh, I've assembled this very small program here which is just going to add two 16-bit numbers and store their result in memory. So let's go ahead and start at address 0100 and the first byte we need is CC. Go to the next address and now we want uh, 3D Next, now we want BC. Now C3. Now 2A. Oh, 2A. Now 4D. Now FD and zero two as here I'm I have one button that loads the data and one button that skips to the next address. That's what I'm doing over here. And two more bytes to go. We've got a two O and we have an FE, which will just throw the processor into an infinite loop. Oh I skipped a byte, didn't I? Uh, oh, that needs to be an OO. Now this is a 2O, and this is an FE. Okay, so let's double check that program here. We have CC, 3D, BC, C3, 2A, 4D, FD, O2, OO. 2OFE. Now the last thing we do is we have to write the starting address into the reset vector at FFFE. Now the code starts at 0100 and we should be all set. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to start the logic analyzer and I'm going to turn the bus acquire switch down, connecting the processor back to the bus, and I'm going to turn the halt switch down and then back up. The program should have run. And now I'm gonna go up here to the logic analyzer and check the states. And it looks like everything executed just fine. Here you can see it's just going into an infinite loop here at the end. And the last thing we're going to do is acquire the bus again and check the contents of memory at address 0200. And it's a 68. And the next address we have an 09. And it works. That's awesome. Um, hopefully in the future I'll be getting ROM and peripherals and all kinds of fun stuff going with this board. But uh, it works.